10 moments ago, Republican leaders got together for a news conference. They said they would unveil what they've called their alternative to the president's $3.6 trillion budget. We are here today because, yes, we do have a plan. Uh, we have ideas, and we directly challenge the administration and Speaker Pelosi to work with us on behalf of all Americans. MSNBC congressional correspondent Mike Vicara joins me now. I am very frustrated, Mike, because I w we've been waiting for this. We cut away from the president to hear the big buildup. Republicans have a plan. They have ideas. They're not the party of no. And all I heard in that news conference was what they don't like about the president's <laughs> plan. Well, Nor uh, contest not Nora, contest. I'm going to pass that along. They did hold up this, uh, did John Boehner, hold up this uh, budget book here and said, now we have a plan, here is our budget. What it is, is it is a plan in the broad sense of the term. It, it uh, outlines what the president wants to do in the various policy areas like energy and health care and entitlement reform and things of that nature. And it talks about what Republicans want to do in very broad terms. It does not have, in the, in the sense of a traditional budget, numbers with estimates, an estimate for how much they would reduce the deficit, things of that nature. That, they say, will come next week when they take this up on the floor. For example, what would they do? They would undo what they call the recent reckless and wasteful Democratic spending binge, binge including the so-called stimulus and omnibus bills they would but Mike, undo. Mike, yes. we've heard that before. We've, yes. we've heard them, and today you get us all hyped up. You have our <laughs> undivided attention. And what happens, but you get up and repeat the same criticism we've already heard. I didn't hear ideas. I heard the promise of ideas. And we're going to have more on X, Y, and Z, but I didn't hear the ideas. Right. So you're, you're saying it's old wine and new bottles. That's what you're saying, essentially. Well, that was a much pithier way of saying it. <laughs> well, you know, they do outline a lot of the concepts we've heard before. For example, on, on health care, they want to... Uh, uh, do something about trial lawyers taking advantage of medical malpractice and, and uh, raising everybody's doctor's bills. Uh, the simpler the tax code, uh, if you make up to $100,000, you'd only be taxed up to 10% on that. They want increased oil exploration. Where have we heard that one before? Yes. Uh, and developing new renewable sources such as wind and solar. So they've got it in this pa package here. They're going to provide us with the details next week. Perhaps it didn't live up to billing today, <laughs> but I guess they're on the road to doing it. Well, that. listen, I have a couple more hours ahead of me this afternoon. I'm going right, to be on, I'm yeah. gonna get on the horn and find okay. out who's going to come on and give me some specifics because I've been waiting for them. Mike McCara, thank you. Okay, contestant. President Obama's holding.